नमस्कार आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एग्री बिजनेस ए जर्नी टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेजर्स टू कंट्रोल इन्फ्लेशन इन्फ्लेशन मींस व्हेन मोर अमाउंट ऑफ द मनी रनिंग आफ्टर फ्यू अमाउंट ऑफ कमोडिटी इफ यू लाइक टू चेक इन्फ्लेशन देन डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू चेक मनी फ्लो इन द मार्केट इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन्फ्लेशन कैन बी कंट्रोल थ्रू मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी फिजिकल पॉलिसी एंड नॉन मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी हैज बीन गवर्नड बाय द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया व्हेयर एज द फिजिकल पॉलिसी हैज बीन कंट्रोल्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन दिस डायरेक्शन इन मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया यूज्ड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन वन ऑफ देम इज द बैंक रेट सेकंड वन इज द रिपो रेट थर्ड वन इज द रिवर्स रिपो रेट फोर्थ वन इज द सीआरआर कैश रिजर्व रेशियो and fifth one is the slr statutory liquidity ratio both crr and slr is called as the variable reserve ratio for for control the money flow into the market bank rate means when the reserve bank of india lend money to the commercialized bank with certain amount of interest rate repo rate means at the time of crisis or adversity the reserve bank of india also lend money to the commercialized bank by providing government security against that reverse repo rate means when the rbi or the reserve bank of india borrows money from the commercialized bank for its purpose with certain amount of the interest rate all the commercialized bank deposit cash and gold under the custody of reserve bank of india that is called as the crr and slr means if the commercialized bank hold some amount of the cash and the gold under their custody itself that is called as the slr at the time of inflation reserve bank of india increase the bank rate repo rate and reverse repo rate so and simultaneously crr and slr by which overall interest rate for the customer has been increased if the overall interest rate for the customer will be increased then customer will like to take less money from the commercialized bank and like to deposit more amount of the money under the control of the commercialized bank by which the money flow into the market has been checked out and ultimately inflation in fiscal policy you all know that government has two instruments in its hand one is the revenue second is the expenditure government control its revenue by increasing the tax it means government increase the corporate tax excise duty industrial licensing for the for the uh, different type of the investment purpose that has been considered or that has been taken by the private players private players find difficulty from getting any money for their own investment then ultimately it has checked out the inflation government also control the inflation by decreasing the expenditure though it is seems little bit of difficult one because government's expenditure are mainly under the priority sector government put in maximum expenditure on education health military hospital in this condition it is very difficult to withdraw back money through this type of the priority sectors so fiscal policy mainly connected more towards the revenue or excess revenue or by more connected to the increasing the tax rate rather than the controlling the expenditure non monetary policy has been controlled by the increasing the output normally if your supply will be increased in the national boundary if your supply will be increased at any manner either by increasing the output by decreasing the uh, export or by increasing the import in all these conditions then aggregate demand will be control at 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 its lower level in this in this way you can control the inflation government also control the wage rate that is increasing wage rate by negotiating with the trade union as far as possible government also control the the inflation by by converting the money flow from the non priority sector or converting the investment flow from the non priority sectors to the priority sectors by price control mechanisms in the if the price control mechanisms will be proper or 
the resource use efficiency or resource use pattern will be the pro proper then definitely your inflation will be checked out or controlled government also try to rationalize the supply and demand as far as possible rationalize means if there are one place where supply is quite higher and another place where the demand will be quite higher government will try to connect both supply and demand as far as possible by which any type of the inflation can be checked out in this way government or the monetary policy of the reserve bank of india or through different type of the non monetary policy way government or the, the situation will be controlled uh, or any type of the adverse situation against the inflation can be controlled thank you thank you all for the watching my video